They tell me that nobody loves me. It takes somebody tough to overcome addiction. Suicide. It takes somebody even tougher to sit here and talk about it. A topic that isn't easy to talk about, especially if you're in the middle of it. Brianna is a suicide survivor. I've shaken hands with the devil many times, but I've kissed death about four or five now. As to the point of me picking myself up off my own vomit on a bathroom floor. There's many times where I knew that was it. And she says she can remember the day she started to change. Not want to be sad, so I would do uppers, or I would not want to feel something, so I would do downers. And whenever you start experimenting and start doing all this type of things, you start attracting that crowd. I tried to cut my wrists whenever I did was in addiction. I got so low, and I was like, this is it, I'm done. And it was, drugs took over, boom, did it. And when I woke up, the first thing, they asked, they said, do you have a reason for living? Brianna's mother, Michelle, says that everything happens for a reason. The reason you go through these things, the reason I've been through these things, is because God is going to use your story. Despite the challenging obstacles Brianna faced, she says that her life has a purpose. I'm celebrating life because I know I'm here for a purpose. Nobody's here after out of any mistake whatsoever. In Hattiesburg, Ashley Jackson, WDAM, on your side. Jennifer lost her son to suicide, but looks to make a difference in other people's lives.